In this video, I will be showing you a high win rate, mean reversion RSI trading strategy and giving you all the information that you need to trade this strategy today. This is Mark from tradeinform.com and welcome to this video. The first part of this video, I will be talking about mean reversion, what it is and why we should be trading it. In the second part, I will be presenting a trading strategy that you can start using today. And in the third part, I will be looking at some of the aspects of this trading strategy and how we can refine it to suit your personality. This video has been inspired by the work of Larry Connors and Larry has a new book out buy the fear, sell the greed. And there is a link below this video for more information about that. Mean reversion is a factor that is always in the financial markets. And it is there because prices overshoot fair value. And they do this because information and the impact of that information, the understanding of that information filters slowly through the markets and it takes time for the markets to establish a fair price. Now this factor is particularly significant for stock markets, for assets when they decline in value because at this time we have emotions entering the markets. Traders and investors are now acting on a fearful emotion and as we know from the works of Daniel Kahneman, fear is a more powerful emotion than greed. And what this means for traders is that prices tend to overshoot to the downside to a greater extent than they overshoot to the upside. This means that there is more inefficiencies and so more opportunities when fear is in the market and prices are going down. So in this video, I will be using the RSI, the normal RSI, and I will be using a short look back period. And you can see on the screen at the moment, the backtest model that I'm using to test this strategy. Now this is a trade informed backtest model, and you can use this to test all sorts of trading strategies. And I will just show you what I'm going to be doing today. You can see here I have the RSI, Relative Strength Index. I have two EMAs, which I'm going to use as a golden cross, 50 and 200 period EMAs. And over here, I'm going to be testing the strategy. Now, if we look on a chart, we can see what this trading strategy looks like. I have a short period RSI and I have a long period golden cross acting as my long-term filter. And you can see when the RSI hits an extreme value to the downside, we have a potential buying opportunity. Now, because we are trading, this is a long trading strategy, we're going to use the golden cross to identify, to broadly identify when markets are trading in a bull market. So stocks have been generally moving up. We know that fear tends to be short lived and we tend to have opportunities. So if I go back to the model, you can see the results and you can see the assumptions that I have started off with here. You can see I am using a two period RSI. Now this may seem a very small period RSI, but as I said, this is influenced by the work of Larry Connors, and this has been borne out by the testing that I have done as well. So we have a two period RSI, and this number five here is our RSI level that we're using as an entry point. The next thing we're using is the RSI as a close as well. So we're using the 75 RSI level as a closing indicator. We're also using a profit target. Now I want to highlight some of the things in the results here before I look in any more detail about the settings for the strategy. You can see we haven't got a lot of trades. We're using the SPY Spider ETF here and we're using 
period from 2000 to the start of 2019. So we've got a good lot, a good lot of data here. You can see this is what I'm looking for. I'm looking for a high percentage win rate. We can't always have a very high percentage win rate because that often has to causes us to have a lower profitability, but it is nice and it is important to trade a trading strategy for anybody who's a trader to trade a trading strategy that appeals to you and that it suits your personality. And if your personality suits a high percentage winning strategy, you want to be having time and time again winning trades, not necessarily huge trades, but winning trades going into your account. Now, this type of strategy is going to suit you. So we've got a very high percentage of winning trades in this particular setup. Over time, we don't have a huge profit, but we have a good profit factor. Now, the profit factor is gross winning trades, the absolute value of gross winning trades divided by gross losing trades. And if we look down here, even more significant, we have a relatively low drawdown. If you compare this to what the, the SPY ETF, which mirrors the S&P 500, has done over this time period, you can see we have a 55% drawdown, which of course occurred during the 2008-2009 financial crisis. All these trading strategies are, all these trades rather, are long trades. And if you go on to, if we go on to the trades list, we can have a look at the sort of trades we're getting. A selection of consistent, quite consistent, relatively small trades and an odd few large losing trades. So there are a number of things that we can do to change this strategy. One of these is to change our number of days that the trade is open. So you may not want to be exposed to the market for long periods of time. So you can reduce the amount of time the trade is open for. So if I'm going to set it here to just three days. And you can see we've got a quite different strategy. Again, we've got a lower profitability, but we've maintained a good level, a good low level of drawdown. The final thing that I am going to adjust in this video is I'm going to show you what we can do if we change the number of RSI periods. So I'm going to just change this from two to four. You can see what this does in particular is reduce the number of trades. So what we need to do if we want to get more trades is to increase this number here. We're going to increase the RSI entry level. You can see we get a quite a different feel to the trading strategy. And if I stretch out the time close, you can see we do get a very different type of strategy. Just using four RSI periods and a higher level, a 30 level of the RSI entry, and a 10 day time close because this is all on the, the daily time frame. We have a significant, make a significant change to the structure of the results. We're getting more trades, we're getting a lower percentage winning trade, but we're holding onto them for a longer period of time. And consequently, we're getting a higher net profit. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, please hit the like button. Please leave a comment below. Tell me what else you would like to see a video about. Also subscribe to this channel for more content like this about backtesting the financial markets, about hitting your trading goals, and for more information about trading the financial markets, about backtesting using Excel, please go to www.tradingformed.com. Thank you.